Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome in. Hi, Hayden. Hayden, sneaky devil. Hello, Spencer. Spencer, glad you're here. Ah, uh, what? You put in a link in chat, Maddie. Hello, Kiwi. Kiwi, welcome in. Hi, hi, everyone. Welcome to Stream Happy Tuesday. Where, Baba? Hi. That's why I'm sitting all weird. Baba. She sit. She already lonely. Okay, but I, I'm sitting especially weird today, okay? I think we can agree on that. Um... You posted a link, Maddie. I don't know what to tell you. Hello, Tay. Welcome in. Jemmy K. The devil has come inside all of us. The devil is inside all of us. That's coming later. That's coming later. Kiwi, indeed. Hi, Caitlin. Welcome in. You're just a weirdo. Not as weird as you, Techie. I'll tell you that much. Indeed. Um, But welcome in, everyone. Yeah, we're five minutes into stream. We're already wildin'. It's gonna be a good one, though. You finished baking brownies for your picnic date tomorrow? I'm so excited for your date. You had a good one on Saturday. Jet. 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 Hello, Turtle. Hello, Neville. I haven't talked to you in a long time. Remember when we almost had a everyone live first try and then you got someone killed at the very last opportunity? That does sound familiar. I'll dive into it more, but I don't really remember, like, the whole game. All I remember is that, like, some kids and a teacher, like, went to a museum for a serial killer or something. I forgot, so I'm excited to get back to it. Yeah, we're doing the Dark Picture Anthology today. No, 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 I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it was, too. Oh, no, it's a film crew. See, I don't even know. I don't even know. We'll find out, though. No women will die. Just like last time. Neville, why would you block me? Michaela, also I'm glad you are here. Oh, I avoided you when you played Dublin May. Uh, have you played it since then? Ravioli, ravioli, give me the subscription only. How has it already been 11 months? I appreciate you and love this community you've fostered. I cherish every moment with you, Bitty Ravioli friends. Steel. Steel, thank you for 11. Thank you so much. It's been amazing. Thank you for being here. Thank you for spending so much time here. Uh, happy 11. I love women, Kiwi. Where's the lantern? I don't see one. Um, Y'all are welcome to encourage to drop your pronouns in chat. I, you, see him. Thank you for sharing yours. Not required. But I do ask you to respect the pals and be nice. Um, hi, Ash. Welcome in. Ooh. Ooh, a little spoilers. Hello, Cam. The same model for Fliss is also the model for the best character in this one. I'll try my best. No worries, Moshi. You're totally good. Totally good. Uh, this is a candle over here. Just for some nice vibes, some nice smell. It's the season for candles. Hello, Jesse. Thank you, Jesse. How are you doing? Barda, welcome in. Max, thank you so much. All right. I'll be seeking companionship in stream. This will be better companionship than the boyfriend. So you're with good company. I've kept Bliss alive before. Not the first time, though. Candle may actually go out before our normal time. We'll have to end stream. Hello, Leo Fire. Did you get it from Jen at the Appleton store? I subscribe to Jen's, uh, what is it, OnlyFans? And as a perk, we get a candle from her. Yeah. I used to stream with some candles, yes. No, is Jen the one that works there? Who's the, the other one? There's Jen the Candle Lady. Blake! Blake. Yes, indeed. We love the raccoons. 
What's the candle vlogger's name? <gasps> Angela. I did get them confused. Did you know? Angela has an OnlyFans? Wish I didn't know that. Um, Damien. You're scared Luna will get into it? It's on the desk. It's totally fine. Hello, Evie. Welcome in. Thank you, Seabury. Seabury, nice to see you. All right, shall we knock out a couple of announcements? Shall we, shall we? We have a number of emote changes. Ravioli, ravioli, give me you the gotta wait. subscription only. Wait. 19 months. Time has flown by. Alana, Alana, thank you for 19. 19 is huge, amazing. Thank you for supporting the stream for so long. Hello, Atlas. Indeed, as you may have seen in chat already, we have added Love 1 and Love 2. They're two little ravioli holding hearts together. Isn't that so cute? Who wants to do the Love 2 to my Love 1? Oh, <gasps> Frisco, you join them together. They're in love. Isn't that so cute? That's so cute. Ugh. Indeed, you can use those to your heart's delight. That's on BTTV, so if you can't see them, you might have to refresh chat or simply download BTTV. Um, basic witch, welcome in. Beep, beep. Hi, Becca. Um, these two made by the one and only Leaky Pancakes. Stan Leaky. Hi, Maine. Maine, nice to see you. Indeed. Um... And also, speaking of the artist Leaky Pancakes, we have another one added to, like, the Twitch emotes. I haven't seen anyone use this one yet. We got a little shrug. We got a little shrug. What? Now you can shrug in any chat you'd like. That goes anywhere. Mito, the one from last year, I believe. Indeed, so many changes. Also, uh, I have to remember what it is. So, <sighs> alongside this good news, I do have to report that there is some bad news. Big Titty Ravioli was removed off of BTTV, was denied due to inappropriate content. Mm-hmm. Now, um... Neville, at my behest, at my request, has uploaded it with a different name. It is now Biddy. Biddy Ravioli. It's it's not lost yet. We're still trying. Biddy. Mito, I think we played it last year, by the way. Um, Yeah, don't get me started on like where the line is or what's wrong with it. Because we have all of our other big titty ones. Everyone, big titty people unite. I got to see them all. See all of these? Even Jesus. Jesus is okay, but they took away our big titty ravioli. So, do the math. Uh, we'll keep trying for, for <laughs> big titty ravioli. We can sexualize people, but heaven forbid... We tossed some knockers on a ravioli. You don't see any of those. As I mentioned before, you may have to download this extension if you care to see them. Some of them you can see on here, but it's a little tiny. Um, all right. I think we got all of the, the emote changes that we needed to out of here. Hi, Booty. Booty, welcome in. Also, mind you, we literally have, we have that. We have cheeks. So like, that's literally nudity in ravioli form. Make it make sense. Uh, Murph, happy Tuesday. Welcome in. Nice to see you, Murph. All right. Um, we do have a couple of other announcements. One of our very own. Ron's Bonds, a.k.a. Ronnie, has a big old interview. What is it? Tomorrow? This week? We send some love to Ronnie today. Best of luck at the interview. 
Hi, Britt. Britt, hello. Welcome in. Have you worked on your cheeks? Always have been. That's why they look so good. Logan, when are ravioli dressed? Do any of our ravioli have clothes on? Salty, it's very nice to see you. I guess that's the only one with clothes on. The badges do have sauce on them, and some would call that dressing. Salty, I hope you had a good day. Welcome in. Hi, Brit. What else did I miss? Happy to help, Sammy. Happy to help. Any bowler. E bowler, hi. Logan Oleo promoting nudity. Don't get me started on, like, the states' stance on nudity versus violence. Don't get me started. The West is all like, wow, let me get out my AK-47, my AR-15, and put it in the hands of children. But God forbid some titties pop out. God forbid I drop my trow. Don't get me started. <gasps> Brett, you got your Knuff sweater today. Do you feel Knuff today? Brett, I love that. You did fire an AR-15 as a kid. Ebola. So true. Aces. Thank you, Aces. Logan wants to drop trow in part. I want to have the ability to drop trow in public places. So sue me. Oh my god, Maddie. Thank you for doing the research. They're so cute. China, it's gonna it's gonna be a little out there. It's gonna take some time. We have to move with society. Not ahead of it. You should touch your elbows together in solidarity. I should put on a more provocative shirt. Oh, behind your back. Damn, I can't make him reach. <laughs> Anyways. Um, ooh, the big one. The big announcement. This coming Saturday, we have a charity stream supporting Trans Empowerment Project. Um, be there or be square. It is at 4 p.m. Central Time. Yes, that's the big one. We're flushing out the incentives today. Very exciting. It's going to be great. Hello, Dabu. Dabu, welcome in. Pits out for humanity. Pits out for humanity. Pits out for humanity. Let's all drop trow in solidarity. Everybody drop trow right now. Are you talking about shitting in public? No. I would never. I have though. Um, Web, Web, welcome in. Hi, Webby. You haven't been wearing pants all day. That sounds like the life. Hi, Fishy Zach. Welcome. Are you drinking a mocha at 940? Lav, you're living your best life. I'm very proud. Um,. Y'all, before we talk about what we're doing today, including a very special time, do you have any of your own announcements, accomplishments, successes, news, or confessions, or a question? Now would be the time. Stells would like to say that their house is a no-pants zone. We're talking out here. Stells, I love that. I hate pants. Hi, Ale. Ale, how was your stream? Didn't you, like, just finish? You have a question. Gisela, I'm waiting. Waiting so patiently. Basic wish. Wish. Which? Basic wish. Um, Best luck on the big event. I hope it goes well. You're more of a shorts guy. Me too. Phil, perfect timing. I cannot say whether or not I am wearing pants. You have secured so much money in donations, basic witch. You're killing it. <sighs> Gisela would a like to ask, how dare I? I just have unending audacity and no shame. Does that answer your question? 
I'm doing pretty well, Ale. I hope you had a great stream. Hope you had a great stream. Hope you enjoyed the faz. <sighs> Did I miss any other announcements? Why do you have buckets next to your plant? Those are emotional support buckets. They they give me hope. <gasps> Becca's moving to Scotland on Sunday. Becca, didn't you already like do a huge move? Rest in pugs, aka Becca, have an amazing move. I hope it's like absolutely amazing. Super easy, very quick, no stress. Best of luck to you. Thank you, Salty. <sighs> oh, she's she's gone. She's in there. She's in there. Ooh, that was the trial, Becca. I see. Best of luck to you. Luna love. I wouldn't have to wear pants. I have a bed to cover me up. Or that could be happening right now. I guess I have a bit of a, a story. Hi, Gorgi. I have a bit of a story. I think I had like a miscommunication with someone at the gym. Just wear a diaper suit on. Okay. I do want to try a diaper. What did you do before? What did you do before stream tonight? What do you mean? No, no. Okay. I had a miscommunication at the gym today. There was this guy and he came up to me. You got to tell me if this is weird. This guy came up to me and he was like, with no warning, was like, Hey, are you into coprophilia? I was like, no, I'm not into copping a feel of me. They wanted to cop a feel of me at the gym. And then he had the audacity to like, look at me like uncomfortably. And I said, I'm not into that shit. Sorry, I made that up. <laughs> Did I scare ya? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I lied to everybody. That sounded homophobic? <clears throat> Okay, but can I tell you a real story? <laughs> Theo, forgive me. Can I tell you? I heard that word today, and I had no idea what it was. I had to go Google ravioli, it. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the subscription only. I regret resubbing. Salty. <laughs> Salty, thank you for 17 months. I uh, heard that word like a couple hours ago for the first time. I had to go Google it. I had to go Google it. And then I was like, wait a second, that I can make this into something, you know? I, c I can turn this into something. Where are you hearing naughty words? Do you know who Matt Barry is? No. Like a comedian actor, I uh, saw like a montage of them and it was very funny. But they said coprophilia. Salty, thank you again for 17. And that coprophilia, in case you don't know, and what led to the, the punchline was people that are into like poopy, into shit. Couldn't tell you why. Um, Punchy Cat, welcome in. You lurk here quite a lot. Punchy Cat, thank you for lurking here. Thank you for coming from Shania's. We stand Shania here. 
I thought you were saying coprophilia. That's that's the first joke of it. Like, no, you can't coprophilia coprophilia of me. <laughs> coprophilia, coprophilia, you. Is the poopy in the chat? <laughs> Is this, okay? Are you like getting me back on track, Leaky? Because that's probably that's probably really good. Um. <laughs> I think I'm going to try to do an all save run unless maybe I'll ask the chat. I'll ask the chat. Um, Leaky, nice to see you. <sighs> Unpopular opinion. I hate watching comedians. I never find them funny, but you found me very funny, right? You find me very funny, right? We find you stupid. <laughs> okay, but that joke was sort of layered, you know? That is true. Remember, we had an all kill run of Until Dawn until it went really, really well. So I just saved them all. I never find you funny, Logan. Chat, however, is fucking hilarious. You are such a... I have so many dimensions. At least three. <sighs> Thanks, Theo. All right. Um. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. We will be playing Devil and Me from the Dark Pictures Anthology. We played it one time when it first came out. We played it one time when it first came out. I have forgotten everything. And it's Halloween season. I want to get into, like, the scary vibes even if it isn't Wednesday or Sunday. So we're going to be playing that. But we have something special before that. We have something unusual. You're kind of... Phil. What are their names? They are nameless. It's Halloween month. Which one is Devil and Me? A film crew, apparently, a film crew goes to, like, a museum or some shit. I forgot everything. I've been thinking about Killer Frequency. How? Yeah. I do believe it's on an island. Yeah. The museum's sort of a hotel. Um, alright, we popped off for a second. If I missed your message, you'll have to forgive me. You watched the first seven Saw movies over the past couple of days to get in the scary mood? How were they? I've only seen the first few, and I only like, like, the first two. We were, Barda. We try to be pioneers here. Is the devil Pedro Pascal, and is the me me? Ravioli, ravioli, give yes. me the subscription only. You ever as a go while you wiggle? <sighs> Cup of Joe. I believe you... And I and only a couple other people will know that joke, and I'm sick of that. I'm sick of that. Get that out of my head, Cup of Joe. Cup of Joe, thank you for 32. That's so long. Be keeping it real welcome in. All right. Um. So the unusual thing that we are doing today is, as we normally would on Tuesdays, is Photoshop review. But we are replacing that with chat-generated presentations on dumb topics, and I present them as my own. We're going to do like a bit of a test run. If this is fun and wild and funny, we may do this again. We may do this... <laughs> we may do this like somewhat regularly. So we're going to try it out, see how it goes. And the, uh, the two people that have volunteered to do this are among the funniest people we know. Just don't tell them that, please, for the love of God. Uh, Cam, that was Pumpkin Panic. We'll probably play it again soon. Exactly, Dabu. Those two people that I named so vaguely are Spencer and Michaela. All right, let's get into it. Again, I will be presenting topics and presentations 
from the two Spencer and Michaela. Ravioli, ravioli, give me Punchy the cat. subscription only. Punchy Cat, thank you for two months. Thank you for a self resub. Thank you. Enjoy your new badge emotes. We got a new Himbo Shrug today. And high boots. All right, today I'm here to present to you the implications of the Burger King and Burger Queen timeline, a presentation struggled through by Logan Olio and created by Spencer. The implications. We're not on a boat. Um, now, a quick reminder, I have yet to see these. Make sure to improvise in this one. Okay, okay, okay. I have not seen these. I'm going in entirely blind, but I am presenting it to you. Okay, I'm not sure why, but they're not included in the timeline. Whoa, now you may be asking who the Burger King and Burger Queen are. Uh, of course you want to know who royalty is. Who else could it be? Allow me to present them to you today. Cut the music. This is a history lesson. This is our documentation. I'm at Burger King with my Burger Queen. Can I get a large fry? She's vegan, please, so don't put no cheese with some honey mustard on the side. That is the blueprint. That is the template. Is this a real thing? This is the original and it is beautiful. Well, I may purport to be a Burger King or have a Burger Queen. These are the OGs. You thought I made it up? I should have gone with that. I'm at Burger King with my Burger Queen. Can I get a large fry? She's vegan, please, so don't put no cheese with some honey mustard on the side. They are my favorite king and queen ever. Ever. And they are royalty. I think, yeah. I mean, they do look a little uncomfy. Maybe it's just cold. Hi, Bruce. Emma, welcome in. Hi, Emma. Um, all right. We press on. Here I, me, Logan Olio, a.k.a. Logan, will tell you the history of the Burger King and Queen and how they came to be known. Yes, indeed. You have seen them in their glory. You have seen what they can be. But who are they? Who are they? The big question. What is the big question? I reiterate the big question of today. Who are the Burger King and Burger Queen? What's the big question? You may be asking yourself. Is the Burger Queen actually vegan now you may not know yet who they are but we can lead with the question is the burger queen actually vegan a great question otherwise the song is for naught is for nothing and on the next slide i will further discuss this with evidence with evidence you can have vegan burgers they exist I, Logan, will now discuss further. Uh, as you can see here, this is a clear sketch. A, a crime scene reporter has been brought on board to take a, a proper sketching of our Burger Queen. Now we ask ourselves, based on this evidence alone, are they vegan? That is similar to Draculaura. That is correct. Um, now, if you look at her, she seems to be cold and shriveling. Um, and while it may be indicative of veganism to be a little cold, um, that is not proper evidence yet. Logan, will this be on the exam? Yes, every moment, including the questions that you ask, will be on the exam. 
Hello, Serena. No, no, we just got a crime scene reporter to participate in our, our studies. To further push my own evidence that we are working through, now straight from the Monster High Draculaura Gen 1 fandom page, um, there is the very real possibility that this person, this Burger Queen, is the real Draculaura. If you have seen Barbie, no spoilers, our figures, our models, our dolls have the potential to come into real life. And now to further push the evidence straight from the record book, the Wikipedia, the lack of vegan selections in the Monster High Creepateria is so sad. It is so sad. Um, so by definition, straight from the fandom page, Draculaura is in fact a vegan. The other big question though, you may be asking yourself, Honey Mustard? Who would like Honey Mustard and is Honey Mustard vegan? Honey Mustard, is it vegan? Honey Mustard, is it vegan? According to this 2009 nutritional information chart from Burger King, I, Logan, will tell you what all of this means. The honey mustard sauce acquired from Burger King, soybean oil, water, mustard, noted here, high fructose corn syrup, honey, honey, and much more, including egg yolks, <gasps> is not, in fact, vegan. What? Throw out the window. The question, is honey vegan? A long-standing debate. Long-standing. Throw, throw that out the window. The honey mustard sauce that you get from Burger King? Decidedly not vegan. Not vegan. While in the song, they may be, they may be asking for it on the side. Why would they ask for it at all? Why would they ask for it at all? It's on the side. Argument from chat being it's on the side for the Burger King. And while he may not be vegan, he should just ask for his own honey mustard sauce. They are both vegan. If they are both vegan, then the problem remains. Why are they asking for it at all? Contains egg. To summarize, is honey mustard vegan? It is not. It is not vegan. And with that said, why does the queen demand the sauce? Why does the king ask for the sauce? If it was for him, the only out here why would it be asked for at all? And why would he not just ask for it himself? Google brings up some dark secrets on the Burger Queen. And I, Logan, will tell you the backstory of these images. As if I was telling you the entire lore of Five Nights at Freddy's. <sighs> now... <laughs> Now, this is where it gets really interesting. Very, very fascinating, actually. So, this is the oldest standing image and reference to the Burger Queen. The Burger Queen appears as a bee. A bee. Now, a bee, if you forget, Poops out honey. Honey. It comes back to the honey. 
the honey decidedly not vegan not vegan in the in the song in the video the queen is purported to be vegan but the queen the queen herself the original queen creates the honey It's, it's bee puke. We don't need to get into the specifics on how the honey is made. The honey is ripped from the bees without their consent. Now this image is of the one and only time that they tried to make a burger queen. An actual brick and mortar burger queen location. Now, the immediate failure of the Burger Queen location not only speaks to the sexism and the misogyny that is rampant in our Western society, but it also speaks to the fact that this whole drama, epic, saga is riddled with loopholes and issues. Now, what does this all mean? What does this all mean? Take a deeper look, and I, Logan, will tell you why you have to look deeper. Now, the queen. The queen being royalty. Has to be airtight. Locked down. The queen does not deserve the crown. The queen that we are familiar with from the video is a fraud. Is an absolute fraud. Upheld the crown when they were never royalty. Nor do they deserve it. The song, a fabrication. While we may enjoy the song, it's just a bold-faced lie. Look at that Burger Queen. That is not the Burger Queen that we saw in the video. It's all lies. Look. Look in their eyes. I said, look! A bee. And here's my... You know, as I mentioned before... As I mentioned before, that bee in that image. A clear misconnect with the queen that we are familiar with in the video. She's his Burger Queen. Interesting argument. But they are supposed to be the Burger Queen and Burger King. Um, This, I did include this in here. I, I don't need to go into the specifics of it. But this is uh, more on how the honey is created. And how the fact that Honey is not vegan. You could read this if you'd like. Um, hi, Shammer. Welcome in. Sebi Poo. Hello. Bruce, thank you for this. Thank you. Bees make honey. The Burger Queen demands honey mustard. In summary, what does this all mean? The Burger Queen from the video... The Burger Queen is not the queen that society requires. Not the queen from the lore, from the story, from the history. A fake Burger Queen. A fake one. A fraud. Look at these. It doesn't make any sense at all. And in summary, this queen that we have here, while this may be the Burger King... She is a fraud. An usurper. An usurper queen. In the end, I'll tell you what it all means. I, Logan, say that in conclusion, <sighs> the burger queen that we see in the video is but a mere fraud. Just placed there for social media, for likes, 
for views, they're nothing. And unrelated, well, I have this platform, well, I have this moment, cannibals do in fact get a bad rap. Reasonably so, of course. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed our first presentation today for the implications of the Burger King and Burger Queen timeline. Diving deeper into the Burger Queen and her lies. Airtight case. Bruce, thank you. Third one. I appreciate it. Very educational. What was that segment called? Um, I got to think of a better title. Chat presentations. Burger King and Burger Queen multiverse. That may put some wrinkles into the story. All right. We have one more to go through. And I need you all to open yourselves up. I need you to keep an open mind. Are you ready? Logan's Corner. Hmm. What are those speeches that are meant to like um, sway you, persuade you? What are those those speeches called? Beautiful pers persuasive speeches. <laughs> um, these are Logan's persuasive speeches. Credit them. No? Okay, high easy. Um, oh, Michaela says, I don't need to improv this one. It's Michaela yelling at me while presented by yours truly. But isn't honey vegan as it's an insect product? Are insects not an animal? But anyways, we'll, we'll leave the honey, the burger queen to the last one. We will prop up this next one. Weapon degradation is a very good mechanic, actually, and I'm going to make you listen. Uh, allow me to read this for you today. Present this very informational topic to all of chat. Number one, it is realistic. Sometimes you just have to try harder. What do you play games for? Do you not play them to be challenged? Do you not play them to get a sense of satisfaction? Do you not play them to improve your skills and ultimately overcome adversity? Get a grip. It's realistic. Oh no, little baby wants tree branches to be indestructible. Grow up. Grow up. You had this thought before? You don't like weapon degradation? Grow up. Grow up. Get a grip. Read the room. It seems a bit targeted, I will say. <laughs> no! <laughs> My tree branch! It's burned up! No! We don't have that emote anymore, but you get it. Num point number two. It forces you to explore. You're not a speedrunner, are you? You're literally playing Tears of the Kingdom. You're not speedrunning. You're not a professional. Loosen up. Relax a little bit. Explore. Get new weapons. Open up your mind a little bit. Find Lumis or whatever these glowing balls are. Hyrule is over 200 square miles. 200 square miles. 
And in that square footage, in that huge area, there's so much to see and so much to do. So much to enjoy. If you want to speed run, you could do so. But listen to all the, the all the other points. If your weapons never broke, there's less motivation to experience new locations and their items. You aren't forced to make quick decisions in fights because you can just use a sword forever. While some people may say that it takes you out of the action, those quick decisions add a layer to the game that cannot be found elsewhere. You'd be so lazy, like, oh my god, just go get a new one. Just get a damn new one. It's not that hard. It's the intention of the developer. With max inventory upgrades, you can have 20 handheld weapons, 20 shields, and 14 bows at once. Is that really not enough for you? Chat, is that really not enough for you? You're carrying so many weapons. Only one of them is probably going to break. Is that a not enough? Oh, chat. Not enough? You're a hoarder? Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? The Master Sword slash Bow of Light would make everything else pointless. If you found the key, if you found the solution, you would never use another sword. Where's the sense of progression? Where's the growth? Where's the fun? That would be really dumb and boring. It's his whole job, and you want to take his job from him? You want to take his job? He's just a humble musician trying to upgrade your inventory, trying to help you at very little benefit to him. Do you hate the working class? Gisela, do you hate the working class? Ale, do you hate the working class? You're taking his job. Piano man, hello, welcome in. Hello, Andra. Yep, the devil will be coming inside all of us very shortly. Hi, Nicolio. In conclusion, uh, maybe just be better at games. I don't know. Like, just go play Hello Kitty at that rate. Um, if you're not growing up, you might as well sit back and play Hello Kitty. It's not that hard. Fergal's not the Hassan emote. <laughs> Thank you for listening. I will not be taking questions. No questions whatsoever. I, I was thinking about taking the questions, but now that I remember I wrote that, um, I will not be taking questions. You are welcome to comment in chat. You have questions, where do you put them? In your rear end. Will you take booze? I will happily accept booze. I will say, um, despite, despite presenting this as my own, it did remind me of some of the benefits, some of the joys of weapon degradation. Maybe I should lighten up a little bit. Applause to the presenters, indeed. Those were created by Spencer and Michaela, respectively. Um, thank you. Thank you to both of you. An interesting time. We may, like, come back and do that again. Like, a, a chat creates presentations. 
Do y'all have like topics that you feel you could make fun presentations on that I would have to present without seeing them prior? Think about it. Hello, Pipachio. I am still not a fan of the mechanic either. I am here to tell you with Loganolio. Write that down. That's good. I just wanted to talk about what I like with no regard for you guys. That's perfect. That's what the scenario is for. Degradation, as it turns out, can be good. Yeah. Imagine having someone else explain a topic for you. All right. Um, hopefully I didn't miss anything. Indeed, I hope you like the title. The title is very special today as we boot up the devil in me from the Dark Pictures Anthology. Uh-oh. Host, wait, why would you say that? The devil in me. Boop. Hello, Burma. Burma, welcome in. You wouldn't download the devil, would you? What are they wearing in it? <gasps> Hello, silly, goofy, gay boy. <gasps> it's ready to go. It was still downloading before. Jet, are you making a, a presentation about frog reproduction? Ooh. It turns out the devil's hot. Do you think someone out there was given the name devil when they were born? He's hot and in you. Mm hmm. Corella. Okay, well, that's different. All right. We begin. Um, my mom called me a devil, so does that count? Yeah, they're inside you. Maddie, good night, sleep tight, Maddie Beast, adios. You're gonna miss it. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. Every choice has a consequence. Some decisions save lives. What do you say to an all kill run? Others lead to death. Let's see. The wheel is 264 feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting to. I bet that's so sweet. Miles at the top. I think. We should make that our first priority. Whatever pleases you the most. You please me the most. The dog you will live. not weary of me after an entire day of marriage. I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> I think we've arrived. I turn it up one. Isn't this grand? As advertised, it's very nice. Me too, Alexa. That's why I'm happy to go back to it. Let's check in. Both Bruce. 
It's been tiresome. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Try again? Was it clear that we were at the World Fair? Yes, Salty. Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Oh my god. I'm on a timer? Let's go to the fair. Let's not wait till tomorrow morning. Let's sign in and go straight there. We're not going anywhere if no one checks us in. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. I don't know about that lady. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. My sincere oh. apologies. For both startling you and for making you wait. My attention was needed elsewhere. Just looks bad, right? What the nondre. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please, sign in here. First time in Chicago? I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. Yes, fair, terrible yes, vibes. But that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Oh, oh, that face. So oh, creepy. How very, very lovely. But yeah, they just got married. They're gonna fuck. Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. I was. Yes. Today's the beginning of our honeymoon. Carly, I think this one came out last year. In that case... An upgrade Aziara. is in order. A honeymoon suite it is. World's oh, Fair well, Hotel. Uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The Damn, I will not spoil. Your yes, Carly. Our first honeymooners. How Ooh. kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Henry Howard. <gasps> a real man. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect then? Architect, designer, builder, doctor, artist. I'm a man of many interests. Impressive. Please have a look around. Kill everyone. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. Because he's going to kill you. Ash, yes, please. I don't think I played that. Is that sort of like a game in this style? Did H.H. H. Holmes have wow. what sex with bodies? How do I not know about this, Ash? I'm typically up on the super massive stuff. I'll check that out. Face powder. Oh, pardon me, miss. What? Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. <laughs> he sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. 
see anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? I could see that theory working, Jimmy. So typically in these styles of games, there's like an intro where you can't really change the, the results. And I'm pretty sure that's how like I'm starting this to part think goes. I'm married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Wow, how exciting. <sighs> A Ferris wheel. Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait. Get slowed down that? a little bit. Chill out. <gasps> Don't move. Oh, not the heartbeat. What if I bork it on purpose? We're on an all kill run. What happens? I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> Sorry. Are we lost? A wrong turn, it would seem. This room is being renovated. It's not safe. Of course. We, you must have missed the sign saying private yep sorry i missed that huge sign we're very sorry i can't have you falling through floors and having your brains dashed out can i no gotta chill again i just apologize think nothing of it i'm only thinking of your safety wouldn't want you to get hurt I sort of like his suit, though. Welcome, newlyweds, to the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. Mm-hmm. Preparation. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. <laughs> They're so bad. Ooh, this place is fit for a king. Or my queen. Oh, yeah. Burger queen. Kiss this. That is not very wifely. Good you. night, Nick. Sleep tight. We'll see you soon, Nick. Hey. Ah. Bullseye. Bullseye you being the me. ass. <laughs> Nailed him. <laughs> Should I be frightened? If you're smart. <laughs> Hello, Mr. K. Welcome in. A little scary today, though. Nail him. Oh, my God. Just obliterate him. Mercy, mercy. Okay, you win. Anything broken? Only my pride. This time, hold the pillow How over his mouth. Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. I have a gift for you. Close your eyes and face the mirror. Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. <laughs> Is there a problem? No. A necklace? Open your eyes. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. Y'all are so dirty. Get your minds out of the gutter. That bath now. That's where his penis is. How did he have all this stuff way back then? Jeff. I will say a pretty nice hotel though. Did they have peepholes back then? Harry, I think you're into it. 
Hi, Harry. Welcome in. Wait, I've been Attention. dating all wrong. Maybe if we put a little weight into it. Wait, what if I flop this? This is like 1875, right? Does this go on forever? Oh. This goes on forever. I could leave this and walk away and it would be like this an hour later. <gasps> oh man. Open sesame. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. You want to keep everyone alive? My sure horror show. Have some. Don't be too long in that bath. Don't you worry. Good morning, Dan man. Oh, it's 1893. I wasn't too far off. She doesn't like razor burn. You talking about the hairs on his face? Where did she get razor burn? <gasps> I want to go back in here. Better not. Oh, man. Get moving. Put some pep in your step. Yeah, shave your dirty face. I could have sworn this was the way we came up. Yes, 100% leaky. If it was part of like some larger event, just not like a normal Thursday night, you know? What? Oh, why did I? Oh, <gasps> no, I wanted to kill him like that. Oh my God. It's not Randy enough, Leaky. Marie! Marie Kondo. Make them watch each other die? Wait, they can do that? How many do you have in your library, Leaky? <laughs> no, everybody has to die. This is the intro for the game, yeah. Like, all the main characters have yet to be introduced. Or have not been born yet. Is she naked? I have salty, but it, it's a weird scenario. I don't need to get into it. Is that you, darling? Yeah. Jeff? Doesn't look like Jeff's feet. Oh, are we playing another game? Well, let's investigate. <laughs> okay, Mr. Sneaky. I'm just you observant. Can't sneak Theo. up on me, Mr. <gasps> Holmes. My tits. Hello, my. What are you my doing here? Vajuder! I don't think he can quite hear you. <gasps> My tits for real! But I'm not finished yet. I said get Oh my god. Will only hurt more if you do. Oh did I do this last time? What have you done? 
calm yourself, sir. Oh my god, that seemed more violent. Oh, she ain't gonna make it. Is there a problem, sir? Yeah, my wife's dying over there. Oh. Dog, I don't. Sorry, I don't like seeing people die. My bad. He's gonna. What's sodomize? Is that like sodomizing Gamora? Professor, people are dying out here. Play the whole game, Andra. Some dangerous gas. <laughs> I'm not used to actually getting the the definition. Stole her stuff. In its place. Well, look at this. Oh, it's wonderful. Only the best for you, my dear. Mother would simply die. It's so Another I couple? Said, Kill him. You work here. Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. World's Fair Hotel? Uh seems pretty shitty oh. to me. Oh, it's a jam. It's a bop. I do love the librarian. Lori, wake up. No, no, the get that's that was the intro. We got a long ways to go. Louis, you gotta go live. We're rating you. Oh, hi, Cassiopeia. Happy Thursday. Happy Tuesday. I was testing you. It really does give creed. I'm excited for people that are going to TwitchCon. Are you going, Damien? Cassiopeia, time is but a mere illusion. Did have fun? Are you going to TwitchCon, Bruce? Oh. Wait, I shouldn't make that noise. Oh, the Brit, what the fuck? next time oh bruce you just travel everywhere i didn't know you were in vegas i do rend uh, <laughs> bttv two t's here have you been waiting long nope welcome back i do enjoy seeing a familiar face holding on to a little guilt are we Hoping that this time around, you might be able to save them all.
ne the next it's time so after good next time. To have company. Hi, Chrono. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This you... is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art. He does give Frakes energy. I cash you. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I, I can't so, interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. I really zoom in on them on this one. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. Scotch. People used to call them obbles. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Oh. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Noted. Well, shall we start? Game is afoot. I will be watching. Anyways, Max, welcome in. We have played this before, but I forgot everything. My name is Kate Wilder. Jerry Rep, uh, a little bit. I'm a in criminal psychology. I'm the an curator for sure. journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on Ticket of And, yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with. Same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I. Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, had a great time. Really want to get back to some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a uh, it's a job. Hello, Brit. I've been a key group in lighting test for years. See a problem? Light it. Bless. I you don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications? I think or, Aaron is my favorite. Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonitz, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track. It was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and um, didn't quite uh, uh, hit the mark. Are these a lot of the same actors and actresses? It's part of like the anthology theme. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> but that guy's oh, different. You, begun, Your Honor. you don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. Good night, Brit. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, your honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else and cover the ground with more cement. Cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, oh. a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes. He hung. Until finally, the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders. But his investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city. The number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. 
America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? This came out last year, Andra. To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. Charlie. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. I think we're going to do an all kill run, Neville. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. That's the saddest yeah, part, Post. This conversation is dead in the water. I gooey, we, uh, welcome in. I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Say nothing. Am I sending the car or not? Yes. Is that possible? Of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. Way to say nothing playthrough? That's interesting. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right. Let's load up, guys. I got it. I'm good. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is that ring light that makes you all glowy. But Tox, we're thinking about killing all of them. Welcome in. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Huzzah. The saddest part is just Great. that, yeah, you lose out on a lot of story Great, if you kill everyone. But we did already play it. And how much story are you gonna you lose, know we're right? Exactly. You don't like surprises. You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka. Topeka. Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was a hundred percent your fault. Because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with HH Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations yeah, from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. I would not like to trust you at all. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Is may share information that could affect about I would not agree. or lifestyle. There are rules. Hello, King Queer. Good morning. must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do it. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka. I'd have to be paid a hell of a lot to give up my phone for like a whole weekend. Lisa, hi, Lisa. I hope you enjoy that Hello Kitty stuff. What Bruce said? How will you watch a Logan Olio stream? He streams every day. If this dude is so rich, shouldn't he have service or something? Is this guy gonna help? <clears throat> no, 
really? I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it, jackass. True, Jimmy. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There. Come on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great. And we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll have it's to be basically like a movie. Halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. But we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. All right, here we are. So, a lot of the characters may look familiar if you have seen other Dark Pictures games. Um, they like to use the same models and actors and actresses. It's part of, like, the anthology theme. I think we'll learn more about the anthology eventually. But ultimately, this is like a story being told by the curator. Yeah, like American Horror Story. Exactly. Hey, guys, hurry up. We're on it. Seems very, like, stiff. Jesus, that is loud. Dude, dude. It's like you heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... Oh, so I'll kill, I'll kill. Hey. We must be able to work our way around. Cliff erosion. Come on. He's got a stick up his ass. Doesn't look too serious. The warning about everything falling into the ocean. I'm gonna say running running. I know other people are watching. Does he know people are watching though? Hard disagree. He knows that two hundred people are watching. I don't remember the running always looking this silly. Maybe it's a uh, this model. Thank you, King Queer. I'm doing better. Okay, I won't lie. I was hoping being here, all remote and away from the world, that maybe I'd have some downtime, some space to decompress. Downtime? Why would you want to do that? I get it. I get. It. I get that off my screen. Perfect size hole. When we wrap, I'd like to take a couple weeks off. Go see my family. I need you in post. Oh, really thank you, Kane. Perfect size four. going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Sure. Take a couple of weeks. Get your head together. I take a couple of weeks off? You should do the same. Take some time out. You got any family you can go and bother? Oh, well... No, Mrs. Bonnet, you got Put some pep in, some in your step. Somewhere. What if I kill him right here? Married to the job. Married to the job. <laughs> ah, we'll, we'll save it a little bit. Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. I doubt he could die there. Married to the job. Can you imagine, though? Ah, what the fuck? I wasn't ready for that. A mannequin, you know, just hanging out. Maybe it's part of some old museum display or something. <sighs> right. That's probably it. Sharky Shark, welcome in. I hope the first official shift of your work at your new job went well. Sharky, welcome in. Yeah, that got me bad. I wasn't fully even paying attention. I was reading chat. <clears throat> Coming. Yeah. Um, I mess. would sure hope How so. Into the show? I just caught my eye. Coming. No, you didn't miss much. Don't worry. Always the photographer. I can't exactly turn it off. 
There's a lot of crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Hmm. You sure about that? Because crossover with Kate Ooh. doesn't exactly agree to let that drop. Everybody, just read sure post message if you just popped in. This thing hasn't been manned in ages. And why's the horn still going? Because they didn't decommission the fog. It's all automatic now. Hi, Bree. Happy Tuesday. Read, please. King Queer, I don't think we're going to be able to keep it. BTTV hating on it. Keep it up, team. This should be the final week. Last night's foghorn test was successful. Looks like the automation is all up and running. We'll do one final trial today, then we can pack away the kit. A couple of you have reported that homeless guy hanging around again. We're going to be bumping up securing the compound and conducting final checks today and tomorrow just to be on the safe side. Other than that, the work's been great all project. So let's keep up the pace and we'll be out of here by the end of the week. Someone was doing some construction here. We didn't learn a lot there. Highlighted messages do not show on TV app. That seems silly. Lock tight. Shoot some footage from atop the lighthouse. How do I get in there? Oh. I've never seen this game, but I feel like the homeless guy is the killer. Still alive? You're welcome to share theories. The context of like their getting together to come here is a little confusing, but essentially they're just like a a production team doing like a show about H.H. H. Holmes and this person invited them to the, the estate, the museum. Can I spend in both cutlets? Cutlets? Yes. hammies would they f would they prefer breast like chicken breast this looks pretty old when did I get this Nicolio a big hug to you Nicolio it was leg day proud of you What's that? Just some old coin. It's an ooble. Ooblet. Find a penny. Get up. Look, sorry I give you a hard time now and again, but... You can never go in the front so door, you know? That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine. Ooblets. It's not how cold. Are you enjoying the Jeez, full release of Ooblets? Give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. <laughs> Just a little breaking and entering. How are you not in jail? <laughs> we were invited here. I love breaking, but I'm not entirely sold on entering. Christ, what the hell is that? I don't want to hide. I want to see what happens. I've been saying I'm going to play Ooblets for a while. I thought maybe I would with the full release, but we'll see. Nice to meet you too. What the fuck? Is that a a leopard? Did you see that? No way that was a dog. They didn't give two shits about me. I was standing out in the open. Okay, not that often, but it did have its 1.0 release recently, so it's been on the Just on the brain. Some fresh sheets, some nice drapes, and six gallons of sanitizer. 
But it is, in fact, my Roman Empire. Maybe like three times a day. Ooblets, ooblets, ooblets. Why are you breathing so heavy? What in God's name is this? Charlie, I'm getting an uneasy feeling. <gasps> Birds aren't real. What? <laughs> the thing. Birds are government drones. Or maybe post. I don't like to say full release. Bring it up with all these game developers that are doing like early access. Early access. Full release. They love to have a full release. It revitalizes the game. Be okay. It's all gonna be okay. Take some good B-roll, man. Look at this. It's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. It's not really a good shot, is it? Look, there's all right. It's okay. I'm not a film Come student. On. We better get back. We're getting on a barge. Is that him? I don't know. We just had the one call. How, how did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Let's just play nice, okay? How did he know? Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Demet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is an unusual Mark, voice. Erin, Jamie, ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Appreciate. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Just give weird vibes. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that turned up? Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. Okay. Uh, you didn't miss, like, a lot, a lot? British or Irish? Interesting. It was filmed. I'm pretty sure this is animated. My adequate. Let's get up to the hotel. Uh, please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No. I think it was not. $60 when it sure? first came out, but it's probably on sale now. It seem sure. It's perfectly safe, but we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt, so please, take care. Looks like things have buttoned up tight around here. God. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. I'm not dressed for a hike. I'm not exactly dressed for a hike, Mr. Dumet. It's just a short walk. It won't take long. You're right. Hello, I apple juice. Very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying. You watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two hours. Just go. They Mark, all just got fresh veneers. 
I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, okay? No photos. No recording of me at all. Oh my god. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. No, that's private. Don't worry, Mr. Dumet. Discretion is Lona Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. Okay, let's go for a take then. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like you. Rolling. Yeah, like, I'd like Speed. to do that. And action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine Are you standing like that? Kate Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house. And start to walk. Okay, that's enough. Where are you walking? And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? This way. They're all... All of them are acting so strange. And what a terrible actress. Not like in the game, but like in the game. Mr. Dumet, H. H. Holmes. Restrictive. I noticed. I want you to get a look around without him knowing. The man is entitled to his. No, but like she's the actor in the documentary. And that's the weird part. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Seriously? <gasps> Second Val. I played when it first came out. I Val. Ah, oh, ow! Oh, oh my, damn it! What happened? You okay? Did you have your ego again? We should get her up to the hotel. Oh my god, I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why I Taylor. Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up? In Glendale? Oh, right. Okay. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. You have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. I did what not follow on? Lakey. Come on. I'll clue you in later. Been taking acting classes again? Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because? I'm charming. And you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. Charming? Okay, but you were the secondary labia. You're Taylor first and foremost. I ask you something and get a straight answer you know oh, what was that making a smart ass reply or taking a shot at me that whose shoes perfect. are these fine uh, tell me the truth okay Is but any no no, no 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 secondary Maybe. labia makes There's sense sort of with the necessary context you think that's likely no at best we'll get some nice b-roll that's not gonna save our ass thank you for the follow i appreciate it Hello, Hendrons. Damn, a what a hurdle. She a track star. Watch your head. I, what the heck was that about? I wasn't doing that. Is Logan controlling anything? You think this is part of the video? Oh, can I not get in here? Where do I get my backup labia? You have to audition for it. Uh, you could have told us to dress for a trek. <sighs> oh my god. You're sending me in circles. I don't you think I could hurt myself by falling off? For the concern. I think it would just be really? like a minor inconvenience. No, no, this is a kill everyone round. 
do it. Okay, I would do it, but only if it kills me. I don't want to, like, have to redo stuff. I don't want to be inconvenienced. I just want to die. Wonder where this goes. Just straight up and down the hill. Yeah. But what's on the other end? Hello, Onion. Darius, welcome in. Yeah, put that on a sticker. Put that on a shirt. I don't want to be inconvenienced. I just want to die. What am I praying? Do you live out here on this island? Get down with your family. My wife is... She died. Mr. Dumet, is this an actual palm tree? Was this ship? I tried. I, I don't think so. They just shrug like, oh. Well, what are we gonna do now? Well, like the only person that wasn't supposed to see them was like the the tour guide leader, and he didn't. <laughs> Aw, oh, Scotch. I sent it to you in the mail. Did you get it? If it's like a sinus infection like I had... Ugh, I feel for you. Is that a bird? It's a rat. Oh, shit. This. A rat. Hello, thick rock. You can call me flat bastard. I heard you were looking for a new place. Not what was all that about? a lot of birds um i don't need to read about the the bird stuff mediterranean cruise like you met All right, I guess we came in here for the premonition. We came up there, we went into there. We hop? That animation? I, uh, Gorgi, that's a good question. Like, I remember, like, a few bits and pieces. What about over there? If I wanted to go on some details hike, about some of the, the, the main characters, but I honestly don't even remember how the game ended. Like, I think I remember about Dumet, but that's it. This reminds me of shit summer camps. Yes, yeah, also vague. Always has to end with credits. Okay. If I can get the car moving and stop it here, we'll be able to get across. What is this, a puzzle? Panel? It's trashed. I don't even think there's power. Oh. <gasps> Taylor. Wait, Taylor, that's a big win. Very happy for you. Proud of you for putting that in. <laughs> Gotta fix the fuse. What 
Is this time based? Better not be. Maybe we can get this thing working. Uh oh. Did it? Don't lie to me. Jamie, can you fix this? Oh, we're switching. I have a multimeter. Do I just follow the arrows? It's that simple. Multimeter. Ain't nothing to it. Just follow the arrow. God damn, I'm brilliant. No way that was still operational. No way. Are we not getting inside of it? Why did it? Why did we do that if we didn't get inside of it? Now I'm confused. Hear that? Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet. Hide. I'm hidden. I feel not very hidden. A himbo shrug. This is not very kill everyone of me. They'll have plenty of ways to die later. <sighs> I feel like this whole terrain and stuff at the beginning is just to like show you the controls and show you the characters. So I guess I just needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. <gasps> Leslie Jones. I really need you to stay where I say. You got it, Mr. Dumet. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. Kate. What do you think? A summer camp from hell. Hopefully, Mitch. Whatever. We're going to find out what's up his sleeve before too long. Don't worry about that. Gotta see some gruesome deaths. Imagine if we could just take out the bridge. Coming or what? All in uh -huh. one go. You afraid of heights? Maybe. Yes. Oh shit! We're all gonna die! Just go. <laughs> oh my god, relax, Mark. Be nice. Ooh, that serious drop. Aaron. You good? Oh man. I didn't Neville. Oh my god, that I'm so excited for that. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. Eyes forward. Don't look down. I got it. It's fine. Is it though? I shouldn't have looked. It's just water Aaron down very much does you give by swim. energy. Besides, the bridge looks dependable. Ish. Come on, I'll help. That's it. Look, it's fine. I'm not looking. <laughs> Don't look down. That's nice. <laughs> See? Not so bad. What a good friend. Thank you. 
You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? Oh. We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Oh. History. Where is everyone? <laughs> Apologies, uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. Please, We're Neville. The day, people. I thought you were King Queer. Theo, Theo, good night, sleep tight. I'm confused. I feel like Dumet's bouncing around from place to place and putting on a yellow coat. Or is that someone else? This place is magnificent. Yeah. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. Has it been very scary yet? Hello. Wonder who you are. What are you doing? I I saw a little girl up there. Maybe it's your one fan. Did you see a girl? Now she's lost forever. You are such a dick. Candle's still going. I think it's going to make it today. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. You've been quaking in your pantalones? Whoa. You better strap in then. Look at this. I got a candle over here. It's amazing. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? Uh, this isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Arr, 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 arr. Blue backpack. Settle in. And no, not Aaron. You all at the Who's the one with the beanie? At eight. I thought her name was Aaron. I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. Kate. I told oh. You I, <laughs> I got I their names you. mixed up. Like Aaron. So Kate is the one that gives by energy. And is all right, but not a great actress in the documentary. How many people have been murdered here? Hey, hey, Ron. Oh, there you are. Busy, busy, busy. What? You've been out in the bottle day. And I have to sit here worrying. Gone all day and not a word from you. What? Chocolate. I remember when they invented chocolate. I always hated it. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Right. Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's how That's you feel when I your saw. husband gets home, a little girl. please. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That well, said, we kill everyone. This place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. We treat everyone yeah. equal. Singing. Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it <laughs> and I won't be scared long. It <laughs> doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. I'm great at bad decisions, Neon. Good luck out there. 
Don't get lost. That was awful. Okay, so it was not a great song. For anything. Thanks. I got you. That animation was off. actually hey. Rough. Yeah. Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes. Thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's just a haul, dude. They're flirting, though. I'll kill Ron hey, of chat. Here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? Ash, is that true? Hmm? It's one step above one of those Japanese capsule hotels. Oh, come on. Could be way worse. Like our room in Topeka. No, do not. I oh, blocked that yeah. from memory and don't want it coming back. Because of the roaches? Because if you snore. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Uh, gross school? What if I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Oh. Shows what you know. How old is that? What is that? Wine. Genius. Uh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah. He does that. Their but eyes are sort of like. Doesn't throw a rig into shoot. Which is hard. Jesse! <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on a hammer before we work. Why are you Especially doing that? Arid's I'm eyes. Thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't cute. You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. Want to share mine? Got to stick on my own if you want to share lip cooties. Thanks, but I can find mine. Where'd it go? Uh, it's uh, all the way against the wall. See? Did it? you get any flirting neon? Help, step sis. I'm stuck. <laughs> you okay? <coughs> Shit. <coughs> you trying to scare me now? <coughs> no. Revenge? Because good job. Are you okay? You sure you're okay? Because, yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No. But seriously, it's not your fault. I just, I, I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? Like, I don't want to be depending on any more. <gasps> Someone's watching. I mind over matter it, but dust and allergies and I just need to be more careful. You sure? Sure. I'm sure. So, uh... When yeah. do they kiss? Cozy. <laughs> I like her tattoo. You gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's... Picon. Decent vintage. Picon. Sure. I'm getting... Oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. What do you mean turned? I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat dots. <laughs> oh my god, I hate you. You are such a liar. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant the thinking you were cute thing. Really? Um, if my cheeks are red, it's from this wine, not because I am bashful. I swear. Really? Sorry. Didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, uh, yeah, it's just, we work together and Charlie is always on me about being more professional and- I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Aaron. Or that I don't think you're cute, too. It's just, um... <gasps> what 
are you doing? What the fuck? Uh, oh my god, I uh I... You're turning me down? <laughs> oh you bitch. I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was Why would you do moment. that? Oh. Oh my god. Sorry, sorry. They drunk? Who is that? Yeah, if someone did that to me, I do think it would ruin the moment. I, like, I get the funny, but yeah, I wouldn't like it. <sighs> what the fuck, Charlie? What the fuck, Charlie? You just standing there trying to listen in? What? No, I was just about to knock. What do you want? Did I, did I interrupt something? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking signal. Bad lurkers. <laughs> These funny shapes? Our numbers, they go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me 10, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like wanna... to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to make I'll out a little bit. After dinner. You've got 10 minutes. It's so bossy. Okay, we'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. Lurkers <laughs> are, are the bareback of Twitch. To be continued. To be continued, then? Yes, definitely. Good luck finding your rooms. Lurkers are the bone backs of Twitch. They're running. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's go. Where's your wife? Where the hell are they going? Honestly, I am more suspicious in hotel rooms like this to have mirrors or big paintings. What's up with your ankles? Reminder, we're dying. I'll kill run. Oh, that's why the ankles look so weird. Charlie, you're gonna die, Charlie. Well, I'm looking. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress, or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed, okay? Do I, I not you know. fucking stressed? I had them all alive for a long uh, time last time. That was rhetorical. Hello, Scott. Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Damn. I should have had one ready for Mr. When can we start killing people? Did you find them? I... no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Jesus. Look, stop tearing around in there like a maniac. Be organized about it. Methodical. 
It's that blue bag, front pocket. I made a specific mental note of it. We do hate gone, Charlie. Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Someone took him. Are you saying somebody took them? I, I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. Uh, just move it's on, fine. Charlie. Let's just get on with things. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. We said move Even on. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. We were literally like, okay, let's move on. And then the next line, he was like, there's got to be SIG somewhere around here. I'm hoping to as soon as possible. Oh, I definitely understand the appeal. Or the, this place is remember in the, like the opener, the hallway closed. Are you worried it will make our other episodes look cheap? They are cheap. Can't be helped. Like, what does that even this lead to? will be the one that people remember. The one that wins an Emmy? Exactly. That's the spirit. Stick with me, Erin. I'm going places. Get your little feet to move in. You think we'll get another season? Let me worry about that. You stick to making sure that my life runs smoothly and I'll make sure you keep working. Sound good? Uh, sure. 11 years, hey, very long time. I was hoping next season, maybe Quite I'd the accomplishment. more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your oh, bag I want to get in laundry. here. Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. I'll so pick it. To muck in. I... I Use your you item. Get an assistant. An assistant. Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just. An assistant. A personal assistant. Did I do it? Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me. The editing. The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience, and it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes. Oh, weird. Is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. What? He's got to so, give it a do rest. You still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. Mr. Yeah, Hector I mean, Monday. Real... Thank you for choosing what Twilight Prairie as residence for your mother. Lucinda is already settling in very well. We encourage we visitors as often as possible. We do the very important work. Hector Monday. Is the star. I don't think we know who that is yet. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? Well, let's get back to the cigarettes. You gotta tell me hey, sooner. Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. So let's see. It was all in 22. Happened last year? Okay. Well, where are we? We haven't signed in yet. Hall, 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 Lee, Lee. Fletcher Thorne, Fiddles, Davis, Fisher. Are these just prior guests? Yeah, they all like came in a came in for a week and then were signed out. <gasps> but look at the penmanship. The checkout is written all the same. Different than their original sign-ins. Suspicious. Very suspicious. She just waiting for me? This way? What's this way?
Where's the key? Who did that? The baddie. So it can't be Dumet. Because he left. This Eric, wasn't here a second ago. Hey, be nice. There he is. Here's your key. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop where I have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Just go pull a couple of weeds and roll Hello? them in a, a piece of Bible paper. Call it a cigarette. Mr. Dumet. Grandma Carol, hello. And hello. may the devil be in you as well. I've never licked a bench in my life. Miss Kelly Schroeder, once again, I would like to thank you for the incredible work you and your team achieved at the hotel. I'd like to extend my heartfelt condolences. The accident that befell the skeleton crew on the lake is nothing short of a tragedy, and I, in part, feel responsible. In honor of them, I have spent the last several months applying the finishing touches to the hotel, and I'm proud to say that we are almost ready to open to the public. Please allow me to extend my sincere gratitude. I invite yourself and the rest of your team to join me for the grand opening. They probably didn't make it out. Uh, problem solved. You just kill the people that worked on the hotel. No traces. Wow. An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. will it be, Mr. Dumet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Packet of smokes. Figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. Those things will kill ya. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. They poisoned the one and only pack of cigs because they knew he'd want it. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, of course he wants exact change. Damn it! Is that one in space, Grandma? Search the bar for money. Don't get near him. Pull it. Oh, they're really making you use your card here. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what the fuck? Next round's on me. Promise. Just a little jumpy. No big deal. Ah, oh, yeah, I guess I carry some, like, paper money, but very little. Certainly no coins. Oh, he jones in. Gotta go find whoever shit my pants. That's a good one. I like that one. Oh, no, 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 please, come on, no! Drop. Kick it. What? No. No, please. I'm having a really shit day, and you've just made it worse. I'm being edged. I feel like they're going to fall. He needs it bad, though, Ringa. He itching. Thank 
you, Lord. It is a bit slow, Bruce. It picks up, though. What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. <clears throat> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Oh, my God. Do you need them that bad? I'm going to go and get my key grip, and they are going to kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Arello. Yeah, I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? Die first if I have anything to say about it. Hello, Deadness. How are you doing today? Hey, had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, Do if we get it shot in you. the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing? Is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? My yeah. gear. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I don't want to hear this from my ex right now. I watched now. you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you have to Techie. take one extra train to get there. It wasn't the right move. Get off my back, ex. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? Yeah, I don't remember. I just want to look decent. I don't think so. I gotta put on some glasses so I could push them up. Wait, I don't. I can't turn on the option to flirt. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. I wish I didn't, You're though. Working. Marginally. I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish. Or both. Wait, what do I, what do, what do I want to say? Before we... Look, can I say something? We agree that we're sticking to just the job. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I... I guess that. Okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. You don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. Get out of here. Silent. The silent treatment for you. Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> they look a bit short. Where Man, to? their uh, energy is so weird, cool though. Angle. Let's find a way up there. You want to go in here first? How's the new place? It'll do. It'll do. Oh, whoa, there, bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. You're just in my room. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird ass rules. We went to therapy? I mean, pop off, I was but also. You'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or. Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no fly zone list. They just don't yeah. seem like a good couple You're at all. Right. What were you looking at? So, since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? So, if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? 
He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? It's not so Dumet. Dumet already left, I think. Care. Probably. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is a kind of dude. Didn't get me. Shit. <laughs> not today. Let's get the fuck out of me. What's that big, like, this slash in it? me back. I used to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school. Rebel. <laughs> eh, I mean, that guy has been walking around like the whole time we've been here. I originally thought it may have been Mr. Dumet, but now Dumet's gone. But we do know that there's like another person here. It's like an analysis of your worst nightmares. A must for Morello fans. If the clock got you, it's only going to go downhill from there. I will say the cash register got me bad, though. Uh, Ooh, free book. This weird, like, item selection gives you the illusion of, like, using your tools, but you just have no other option. Births, deaths, marriages. Mr. and Mrs. Robert Hall of Silver Spring announced the birth of their daughter, Marilyn, at White Oak Hospital. Elaine and Stephen Wright of North Park announced the birth of their son, Maurice, on behalf of their daughter, Lucinda Monday. Proud grandparents of George and Irene Monday of Silver Spring announced the birth of their grandson, Hector Whalen. The Mondays of the people that own this place, or maybe Hector? <gasps> Taylor, Taylor, good night. Sleep tight. Look at this wallpaper. Quiet. Oh my God. Sherman, born January one, nineteen fifty-six. Come on, you know all this. What do you want? What's this? You've been doing exactly, research, Carol. haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet. What were your friends like as a child? What is this? You're taking a survey, you're trying to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well... Maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. Is he the first America's serial killer? First. That can't be right. I invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? Maybe. I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people. Oh, weird post. You got smart enough to find me. I wonder what happened. Wait, I gotta add read a book to the repertoire, this Phil. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. Talking about chat. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Old as hell. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. Am I gonna have to like cross a gap? Rod is gonna set in. Right. That's it. What? But since we got here. I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. It's decay. Smelling? Old house. Vanessa, that can't be Island true. Beaches with dead fish, I think, animals in like the Like you said, just the first person Anything. they called one. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. <laughs> Push it? What did that get me?
because of their status in history, turns out you're not a serial killer if you're just like in politics there. or royalty. Just need to find a way through. Open the door. Do we assume it's locked? <gasps> add, add. It came out like more than a year ago. Up, up. Oh, okay. So that's the one I'll have to move. Keep your head down. Come on. The devil did what? I would have for sure. The devil is inside all of us. Inside me, inside you. Who's watching me? He come o and he go o. Get in there. That'll be fine. What a strong boy. That's true. The devil's wait. Actually, no. There's a lot of devil inside Luna. Luna is nothing but chaos and evil. work now Mark? i gotta go down again you okay in there i'll be right back i process plenty to beat the devil out of me i look forward to the day that bob ross beat the devil out of me any way he wants come on Okay, how about I send Luna Poop to every subscriber? You're a subscriber, you get Luna Poop in the mail. And you have to promise to put it on your living room floor to symbolize the fact that she's also your dog. <laughs> okay, mate, that's too much poop. For 10 subs, you too could have Luna Poop sent to your door. Forget the fact that it's technically biological warfare. I'll do it. Forget the Geneva Conventions. I'll send you Luna Poop. I'm pretty sure they say in the Geneva Conventions, no dog poop in mail. Oh, <laughs> return it to you. Oh. You can do this. No return address. <laughs> Geneva suggestions. <laughs> oh, deliver it by hand. That's technically not against the Geneva Conventions. Delivering poop by hand. So I got a key, right? What is that? Laser? What are you going to do, Michaela? All right, we got the key. We go to the balcony. Balcony. This is finally where we need to go in order to take some footage. It's been our goal like this whole time. Whoa. Just come on. 
It's not that high. My vertigo is saying otherwise. <gasps> Wait, really, Post? What are you doing? You know what? I am always inclined to do the flirting, but I don't think they should be flirting. They're not a match. Thought we were in a hurry. We are. But if I look like shit, we'll just have to reshoot it. <laughs> He's afraid of heights. He gets vertigo. He has hyperfixations. This is the people's person. I wonder if liking Logan Olio is a crime. Ask certain people, and it is. Am I supposed to film you? Oh, <gasps> the victims from the opener. They should have fought harder. Okay, check this out. It's his hat. Ooh. H. H. Holmes. Ah! <laughs> you okay? No. Fuck. I just this fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <laughs> uh. <laughs> See? Well, what is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, well, it's not a person now, is it? One. It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. I uh, was not aware that was coming. Hey, Charlie. It's the me. devil's finally come inside Dinner all time. of us. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Do it right now. You're already up here. Take five minutes to film. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. Ever? We're tired of watching you fight. The rest of us are tired of watching you guys fight. And I'm tired of having those fights. He's just jealous. They're just jealous. jealous. Yeah, he doesn't like that I'm the one getting invited on to talk show. You mean talk show? Point is, I'm the one people see on screen, so they want to talk to me, and he's being. Oh, you'll see Charlie. It. I can't say half the shitty right. The cigarette lover. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you. Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? <laughs> okay, can't everyone like down below hear this? Charlie does seem to think he owns us. He's so damn controlling. You're like I don't yelling. Control me. Why else do you think we fight so much? Did you know Aaron hasn't been paid in weeks? He told her that learning from him was his own reward. That piece of shit. That's a scary dream. He has her running around town, picking up his laundry, doing his shopping like he can't do anything for himself. <laughs> Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lawn at Entertainment. Probably should. Good for you. That's that's definitely the right call for where your career is going. Why do you hesitate yeah. like that? Sounded very sincere. <laughs> because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. <gasps> Give up news and be It did. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Why? Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonnet Entertainment. And Lonnet Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. We were Charlie, pretty dumb, I'm though. I'm sorry. And Lonnet employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. He's hangry. Great. Hungry for I, a cigarette. You have a future, and now I. Don't. They're all coming. Zach Gangball. Child. 
Welcome in Raiders! Zach, hello. How's Pokemon today? Welcome in Raiders. Hello, my one angel, Zach. Zach, hello. Raid, it do be like that. Hello, Twiggle Downtown. Hi, Brandon. Welcome in. How's your stream? How was Pokemon today? Welcome in. If this is your first time here, my name is Logan of Ready Streamer. We stream every day doing indie horror, new games, variety games, fun games, all the like. Welcome in. Um, how's Pokemon? Let us know. Uh, a brief, brief warning here today. We are playing the devil in me. A horror game. So, a small content warning. There's a challenge run and someone... Oh, someone killed your Dawn fan. Do you need them for the run? Are you doing like a, a Kaizo or like an Iron Man? Damn. Joe Fist, what'd you do? I'm sorry to hear that, but I hope you all had an amazing time. And a welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Zach, thank you for sharing your crew. Uh, Mods, if you wouldn't mind shutting out the one and only Zacking Ball, a pal of ours, a fellow streamer, a variety streamer, I believe, a cutie for sure, and not lately doing some Pokemon. And there's like a term for those kinds of Pokemon runs. I can't remember if it's Iron Man, Kaizo. There's another one. A Nuzlocke. That's the one. But, okay. I hope your Nuzlocke still goes well. Welcome in Raiders. But yeah, Ravioli, check out Zach. Welcome, welcome. Um, all right, we'll dive back into The Devil and Me. We are a group of, like, filmers. We're with a production studio. We are filming about the estate and history of H.H. H. Holmes, the first serial killer. But this production team is finding that there's a lot more to this estate than they originally anticipated. That's the quick and dirty of it. Hello, DM Yeti. It, you want me to say my hidden talents and party tricks? Um, I don't got any. Triple H. What a wrestler too, right? Brandon, welcome in. Hi, DM Yeti. Hi, Bleach Boy. Welcome in, everyone. I hope you have a great time. Welcome, welcome. Zach, take care of yourself. That's okay. I don't go to parties. Hi, Silver Shield. And somehow we all sink to his level. It's the best part, Phil. I don't think he's doing anything. I'm a black belt. Well, they are like fake. Hey They're dolls. I can wiggle my left ear. How's that one? Raise my left eyebrow. My left side is very flexible. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just poor Mark. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? None of you did anything to piss him off, did you? No, Dad. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, back to it ain't coming. Wait, what, why? You saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? We did see that. When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. No, Brandon. I'm sorry. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together. When I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? We hate Charlie. 
I'm about done with you all questioning my judgment. The man tells me he has artifacts useful to our investigation. Look around you. Did he lie? There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. Oh, Charlie getting nervous. That doesn't explain why he stitched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God, Shit. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. OK, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. They're such a terrible group. They have no cohesion. No chemistry. The bitch of it is, I did find a machine, but just what? like everything else in this fucking place, it's ancient and broken. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's no the chemistry, plan, Charlie? Leaky. The plan? In true lawn and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms but that over doesn't us, sound so bad. and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. <sighs> Are they toasting right now? I would like to toast all of you. Thanks for coming to this shit show. Now, I would like to toast all of you. Really? I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of 10. And Kate, despite this is suspicious, ring, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. <laughs> okay. This is so bad. And let's not forget our newest recruit, Erin, even if she does forget things like my cigarettes. Just had to say it, didn't you? We're like a family. Sure, it's the Manson family, but uh, despite our fighting, we're going to get through this by having each other's backs. Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. Ugh, I still hate Charlie. We get here, oh, also if you joined us, we're doing an all kill run. Level. Sure. All kill. If we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. So what if he did? It's not like we were lying. It doesn't change a damn thing. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. What was that, Kate? Nothing, Charles. Don't worry, it's not about you. <laughs> you can just feel the love in the room. What's that supposed to mean? What do we do? We're like alone here. We don't have our phones. Do you just it's not that we can more. leave until he's back. May as well keep busy. Okay, yeah, I'm done. I'd rather be staring at a blank wall than sit here any longer. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. They're so bad for each other. Hey, Mark. You want to follow Kate around like a lost dog, or should we start planning what gear to call? There's good light in the lobby, minimal setup time. We can be good to go in 15. Then let's do it. At the very least, <sighs> your sets are the most entertaining I've ever been on. Working for me is never boring. Say what you like. At least working for me is never boring. <laughs> yeah. We should get Aaron to pipe in a laugh track to our headsets. We never miss a beat of the Charlie Lana comedy gold. They are all quite unlikable in this moment. There's nothing good about that interaction. 
mark is right. Light in there is good. Just need to set up a couple fills. Won't take long. Go ahead. Kate even <laughs> said that she was charming. If you say you're charming, you're probably not charming. But I've been told I'm charming once or twice. Hi, Arlen. Arlen, welcome. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Hey, what? What's this view? Oh, is this to symbolize, oh, the need for the inhaler? It's are sad. That's the good shit. Thank you, Arlen. Hello? Guy? Oh no, I don't want her to be the you? first that dies. I wanted it to be someone else. It may have to be her, even though she's like literally the best character. But I, oh, I forgot. This part's good. Someone crying. Yeah, she's like the best character. Uh-oh, where's that coming from? Oh, the book. This is given to Charlie, I think. No, some people find it helpful to picture a relaxing environment whilst they breathe. I like to imagine floating through space, discovering new planets from... Far away from Earth, what might your relaxing environment be? Or just put your headphones on. She's real for that. Hello, Vampy. Vampy, welcome. <laughs> Vampy, the devil has come inside all of us. The devil is inside me. The devil is inside you. Can I just not go into all these rooms? I don't think that person crying was from like one of our people. I brew. Arlen. Bad Arlen. Sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover oh, the ground with am I gonna fall in there? Trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me. From H H Holmes. Again. Or H H Holmes. Someone in there. H H. Wait, things are moving. <laughs> things are moving. Oh sh! That don't look so good.
What a way to go, though. <gasps> Nothing changed. Wait, things did change. Do you think this character like knows that the walls are shifting now? Like she has to, she has to know something's up. No. Oh, I hate that. You wouldn't notice that the walls have been moving. I think including audio from like one of their prior games would have been a cute little, little touch, but I couldn't tell dog. <gasps> Lav, thank you. Yes, I have a response for you. I was very excited to get the email. Thank you, Al. My phone speaker. Oh. And I won't be scared long. That was better than the first time. Pop, 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 pop to the top. Wriggle, ride in, ride that rhythm. I don't think Aaron's gonna make it out of this. <gasps> We're switching characters. Someone else can die first. Damn it. That do it felt good. Breakers. Some of the cuts in this game are like very abrupt. Very hard cuts. Lick of battery redemption. Maybe just for fun. Shit. Hello? Mr. Demet? The lady looks 10 years younger, but how? Bathhouse, manicures, day spa, facials, and more. The European health secret now on Lake Michigan. We're on Lake Michigan? Zero, four, five, one. Write that down. I've, I've read about some bathhouses. I don't think the purpose is bathing. Hey, don't put it back. Look, look at it. <sighs> she just doesn't get it. Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. So open on November 17th in 2017. Am I able to, like, go anywhere in here? All right, one more time. Open it.
All right, there we go. Dear Mark and Jennifer, as instructed by you, we have made the requested amendment to your will. A, a codicile has been added, which states that in the event of both of your deaths, the sole beneficiary, beneficiary of your entire estate is Mr. Richard Belknap. Hello, Wave. Wave doing well. How are you? Codicil. Codicil. That's the way I came, and I need to turn the power back on. Do you know a bell nap? Into the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial. Enjoy your memorabilia, dude. Ben at Killer Fernalia. Choices, Jamie. H.H. Holmes authentic Make hat. Better choices. This is your own damn fault. <gasps> Chippery. I had a great time with it, but I did like forget most of it. So it's interesting to go back and play it. My Chippery. Good to hear, Wave. Got it. Ooh, demonologist, how do you like the new map? Thank God. Good thing Something I got my multimeter. So let's see. A puzzle god? Okay, but... <gasps> they got the... The Phasmo Breaker. No, no, Chippery, this is a kill-all. What? Why'd you turn it off right away? I'm here for the show. A little barbershop quartet. The hell? I actually like puzzle games. I do. I feel like I'm at church. Burlesque sim? Do they look burlesque? One of them's broken, Leaky. I'm their replacement. Oh, this goes in that tape that I tried to play. God damn it! I felt that one coming, actually. Bro, would it be good? The devil came inside all of us. Emily, the devil's inside you. The devil's inside me. Put the tape in. I had to build my own little castle, just like Holmes did. Most people like me do their business where their target lives. That's just asking to get caught. Holmes had the right idea. 
It's all about the honey trap. You bring me some smokes, like I asked? Lucky Reds? Charlie's the killer. Yes. Oh, these are like gold in here. Damn. Cherry slush. So, yeah. So, cherry. <laughs> Holmes built a hotel about a mile from I do the World's tomorrow. Fair and called it the World's Fair Hotel. And bought Fair. Papers More like terrible. The rooms from far and wide assumed it was the official hotel. That's a good Bond flavor. Take a you train know. in from Nebraska. Takes three days. They roll up into that joint, ready to rest, get to their room, and whoops, what do you know? Holmes had a gas pipe hidden under the bed and poisons them. Or maybe he pulls a trap door on them. Maybe he separates them and makes one watch through a window while he slits the other's throat. Sounds hot. That's the advantage of a honeypot. No shortage of targets. <laughs> That's why I picked all those houses north of the airport. The whole neighborhood was <gasps> scheduled for demolition, and yet, all those lovely realtor ladies must not have gotten the memo. Call up as a contractor. Tell them I'm flipping. Have them meet me out there. And look at that. We're the only two people for miles. What? The first couple times I killing realtors over just to hide their screams, but after a while I realized they could scream as loud as they wanted. No one was gonna hear a thing. That's what Do I realtors have to worry them. about that? Those screams. You can try to understand why I am the way I am. You can forensic science up all the data you want. You'll never know. You'll never know, Monday. You'll never really know how it feels when you watch the fire burn out of somebody. I mean, certainly, Brew. Certainly, but realtors in general probably have, like, a higher level of danger they're put in regularly by having to meet up with people at random homes. Ew, Charlie. Looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. This looks great. Very gaslight. Mm, if we had a grip with some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Shouldn't be more than a few minutes. Where's everyone else? Well, if they're smart, they're walking down here as we speak. I'm about done. I can go round them up in a minute. What the hell? I say the next part in my brain, Leaky. Hey, hey, help! People are about Please, to die. Help me. I can't see a thing. I... Guys, guys, please. Aaron, get me out of here! I can't see a thing. What kind of door is that? I use your inhaler. Is whole milk, Spencer. We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, out. We need to break through this thing. Am I gonna Guys, die? I, 
From an asthma attack? Nice man. Well, let me take it for now. Oh, shit. Thanks, Blizzard. Ew. Sort of good, though. Wait, is she dying? No, he just got hair. What if I didn't okay. use it? Easy, easy. In. Yeah, he took some hair off her. You're okay now. You're safe. What? Did you see him? Come on. No, they're gonna gaslight her. He, he was... Somebody was right there. In there with me. Aaron, it's just a dummy. Shut no, your mouth. No, not a dummy. He he had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her No, to I death. tried to kill her. Now she's hallucinating but shit not, from the show. Sort of. I did not... Nothing bad happened, Aaron. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down, get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Erin. Ooh, curator. Fuck you, Charlie. Oh. There you are. Hmm. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck. Wouldn't I'll kill say? Run. Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. That is strange. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Maybe if he had, things wouldn't have become so uncomfortable. Charlie certainly lost his cool, and if a team can't work together, they are unlikely to succeed. Bad omen. I can only observe, <gasps> and it can be frustrating to watch. Can he turn into a crow? In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. Yeah, puns. Devil you came inside you. Them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. I didn't know he could turn into a crow. Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Oh, relax. I'm serious. Everything about this is off. Kills me to admit it, but Kate is right. Somebody tried to attack Aaron. We don't know that's what actually happened. I know what I saw. In the dark. You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. And exit stage left are oh so confident and sure leader. What was that? Please. Dog, that could be fun. Charlie is thinking. Just looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying. been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something, anything. And now this is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? Sorry, maybe I'm crazy, but if Erin says somebody came for her, I believe her. Thank We're not you. Safe here. 
it was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. I know what I saw. Why are they not believing right. her? Here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. We cannot jump to conclusions. I'm going to go and find Dumet and get clear on everything. Everything is going to be fine. Dumet's okay? gone. And we're going to get the footage we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? They said that he's a gone. attitude. You should try it sometime. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Dumet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. Tell Charlie Wait. like it is. Do you have to go? Yeah. Hey. Right back. Promise. Just stay put so I know where to find you, okay? I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Okay. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? Aaron saw someone. Okay, you're right. Sorry. It's just Charlie said... We're not safe here. That outweighs having a damn job. It's like you're right. Their lips don't line up. Aaron. Everything's gonna be okay. With their right words here. sometimes. Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. I'm right around the corner. Let's all be quick. We'll be right back. Promise. No, don't. Sorry, just still freaked out. Can you leave it open so you guys can hear me? Of course. Look, what does that have to do with anything? Are white people all ventriloquists, okay, Luke? Okay, genius. Where Is that what you're saying? First for Demet? I'm not looking for Dumet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Jesus. You really don't care about anything else, do you? Of course I care. Tell that to Kate. You know as well as I do, if we're set up and a camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. <sighs> Asshole. Where are we even going? Hi, Luke. Hope you're doing well. We're going to get as far as we can today, but we will be killing someone before we depart. Okay, it will be the last thing I do. <gasps> Did the number go up? It was 178 before. Who died? None of our people died. Were it the other people that were like screaming? What happened here? I... No idea. And you still don't want to leave? I wonder if that grounds people would know where the met went. Won't this like show preview? Oh my god. Becky. Look at that stab. That was wild. Nice to see Charlie die though. They barricaded the door. Too bad we can't use our hands. Okay, no changes. Wait, what? what the hell? Jamie. What? Over here. Okay. Yeah, I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood? Are you kidding me? What is his deal? Conclusions. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd? What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Maybe it's our dinner. After everything for him to dismiss this? Oh, what the fuck? Presented by Grantham Dumet. Dumet? What? So he hasn't left. <sighs> it 
someone was trapped, literally saw someone, was like, she had her hair cut off. The lights are turned off. And he's like, no big deal. I would love to be that delusional. I first met Agent Monday on October 12th, 1997 at O'Hare Airport when I was assigned to welcome him off the plane. Good night, Ale. Sleep I'd tight. actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago, but I doubt he remembered me. Not before. quite that delusional. Just a little delulu. I was nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training and assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who just cracked the Arkansas case which was all over the national newspapers my first impressions were that he was tall. what that's it it's over so there was like a copycat killer or someone that was like super interested in H.H. H. Holmes and those are the things we're picking up. An ooblet. You're an ooblet hater. More barbershop quartet? Ugh. Lovely. <gasps> a glove. That glove we've been seeing all day in cutscenes. Hello? You hear that? Please. Help. The fuck? Help me. I think people can die now. Please. Please. Are you... I'll do anything. What happened? Are you okay? What the fuck? Stop! Look. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Arlen! What is this? It's a fucking booby trap. You shift your weight off that plate, and this guy is getting run through by that thing. Ah, it's fine. Is it an animatronic? <gasps> help. Please. Help. Help me. Is this erotic? Shame me. Wait, it's gone? It had to have been an animatronic, right? What did I do? Maybe it wasn't. No. Charlie. Huh? Let's go. Did, did you see him? The mask? What the hell was that? Yeah, we saw him. <laughs> Oh. We're trapped. Jesus. We're trapped. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. One, two. How? Three. <clears throat> good night, Phil. Phil, we'll see you soon. Get some good rest. Enjoy your gummy. You that? Yes. What is happening? Oh, 
Oh, crystal girly. Find your spirit crystal. Don't do that. What are you gonna do with that? And don't make fun of me. <laughs> Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It helps keep you calm by blanketing you and protecting Let her you. have her crystals. I, I remember. If you know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. Damn. Sorry to my crystal girlies. It makes me feel better. Something you never seem to be able to do. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't a time or place to... I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. The what job? I told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job. Not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. Leaky. That's your dream. I'll mail him to you. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because it would be. You should have chased the dream. Wait, I mean, did you ever think maybe of chasing the dream first and making it work practically second? Clearly not. I'm here. I'll send I you an astrology calendar, Leaky. Things were already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. Why are we, like, exploring this relationship so much? <laughs> stupid choice. That was a really stupid choice, Mark. I, I just... They're exes for a good reason. What do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. I don't even know anymore. You should have said all this before. I know. Ever give up on I'm the not DP being job? All again. What if this time is different? Oh, come on. That's not likely, and you know it. Sorry. I guess I'm a little confused. A little bit leaky. Also said I gave up on go. my dream for you. Which is a wild thing to tell someone. Get the fuck out of here. I didn't take my dream job. Hell bent on talking to him, so to be maybe, with you. Yeah. Where to, bucko? Oh, she's got some nice Who's pep in her step. These doors? They really are all locked. Is a little helper in the yellow coat. Yeah, okay, now they address the yellow co coat person. Wait. What's that? Hello, Zestonia. Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Hi, Golden. Is it her? I hope you're doing well. Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. That's, That's sad. Him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. You know him? He kind of did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. Moved He's the, the campus the strangler? Parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know, that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. What a it weird, a like, big deal on campus not sea to story. And Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and that's when it, that's when he got her. It's okay. No, it's not fucking okay. It can't be. 
I have to live with it every day, and now someone knows. Someone wanted me to find this. What the hell is that? I have no idea. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Get over here, now! Charlie! <laughs> How can they hear the walls now when they can never hear it before? What if I let it go? My God! What the hell just happened? His hand got I squashed. Know. But I think it's really, really bad. I think it's oh. really, really bad. <laughs> let me see, Charlie. Ooh. Let me see your hand. Don't touch it. Let me help. Ooh. Oh, oh honey, see. that don't look so good. Your hand is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> We need a hospital. Add it to the list of reasons we need to get out of here. Oh, now you want to get out? We've got to figure out a way to round everyone up. No shit. Now he wants to get out. Now that his hand is fucked. <gasps> Not the other hand. Uh, What's going on? Demet, what the hell is going on with him? He was nervous the whole way nice here. Nice hand. I chalked it up to him just being eccentric. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. Did I just go in a circle? Let's think about this. <gasps> you saw Dumet take off. So maybe he found out there was a killer and bugged out? Ooh. Or perhaps the I do really like these halls. And the dude in the mask is? Oh. oh. <gasps> what? Brick wall. Keep going. How do they Sorry, even do that? No, I don't want to think about it. That contraption, that's a hell of a lot to set up. That was planned out, every bit of it. Yeah, this whole place has up. been fabricated and manufactured even more likely the dude on the ferry to suit really the that. killing needs. I'm trying to map this in my head. But I think Erin's room has been completely... Oh, what the fuck? Is that a kid? Oh, good. You're a pretty kid voice, too. I was worried I was finally snapping. Where's it coming from? Charlie, I don't remember this here. at all. How's it get this open? I'm not sure what good this will be. Just use your shoulder and lean your weight into it. <clears throat> well... Clearly recorded, right? Piggies. I don't remember any of this. <laughs> Look for the others, what? search the freezer. You know, a doll in or... a doll in a doll. Are you losing your shit? Because I don't need that right now. Charlie. Who's making that noise? Final way out, maybe. Look, this one springs out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. That's not what I was expecting. Ah, Amy! Ah! Is that a booby trap? Charlie? Fuck. I know somebody was in there. Poor Aaron. <laughs> he got boobied. I, I can't. Ooh. I can't breathe. Why do I need to hit R2? And out. Oh, come on.
his breath. They gotta hear this. Wait. <clears throat> Thank you, Arlen. Who shut the door? Guys? Hello? Hey! I'm tired Ellie? of them trying to kill her first. Mark? Jamie? Ooh. Oh, not the spores. Hey, listen. Where are the clickers? Where are the come runners? On, come on. Stop being such a damn wimp. But he like opened it. Wait, I only have one inhaler. Is this a good idea? I guess I have to go in here, right? Yeah, I guess I have to go in here. But I only have one inhaler. Puff? Inhaler, puff. Inhaler, puff. Treatment for what? Silver Ash Institute. How do I hold my breath? This is already cool. You can't use your mic. Why is this here? Okay. The killer, like, opened these doors for her. He knows. He wanted her to come here. Oh, what the hell? Oh, no. There's got to be jump scares. Not a good idea. Whoa, what <laughs> okay. Jesus. Oh my God. The They're sort of goofy. I'm Mike. Mike, I hope you're doing great. Who's the cutie in that pic you posted? Totally your type. You're so predictable. Ooh, Aaron, please. My type is badass bitch, not timid woodland creature. She's shy. She's clueless. Her face always looks lost and confused. That's so mean, Jamie. What the hell? That could have been fabricated. So this area has like been tailored for this character. What's in here? Timid woodland creature? Jesus. It's like clear Jesus. that that recording has been like tampered with, right? What's with the pauses? Thank you, King Greer. It's supposed to be purple for Halloween, but it works. Now, I don't think she's going to make it out of this. I had them as orange, but they showed up as like bright yellow on camera. Blurple. I like that. Yeah, the text could be fake. <laughs> a whole carton this time. You trying to get on my good side or something? Yeah, okay, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be listening to you. I think I'll save them. What, no questions? What's going on with you Monday? 
doesn't seem different. Ah, <laughs> I see that glimmer in your eye, you little devil. I can keep secrets, man. We all have them. That prosecutor is trying to get numbers out of me. You know that? Of course you know that. Numbers. They got homes for 27. But we know he was closer to 200, right? Can you imagine that? I wish I'd had the time to try and beat that. Sure, they know about those nice realtor ladies. They got families, after all. But the numbers the DA is asking me about? I think he knows there's some people out there, rejects, misfits, the kind of people that when you see them coming, you look the other way. Does anyone notice if they go missing? My father always told me to leave my mark on the world. I never knew what he meant by that. Not until I watched that first girl bleed out. I call it art. Who tried to scare That's me? That's my signature on pissing. society. It's not murder. I it's win. an aesthetic response to what this world has made me. Ask people to list serial killers, and they'll drop five, ten on you before they can think of any more. Ask them to name the detectives that caught those killers. No one is going to say a damn thing. No one knows. No one cares. No one makes movies about them. No one puts their faces on t-shirts. No one gives a shit. What a long I've left my mark on the world. Have you? Luna got many treats. Interesting lore drop. But that's more so with like Monday and the copycat killer. Okay. Anything? Am I gonna have to hide in there? Is that what was that for? Dear Mr. Thompson, why don't you leave me the hell alone? Dear Miss Monday, I tried to contact you by telephone for a number of weeks regarding your son's recent behavior in school. Hector has been lashing out frequently at other children in an aggressive and threatening manner. During gym class this week, his teacher noticed that he had come to school with severe bruising on his legs. We are very concerned about his welfare. Please contact to discuss. Hmm... When did someone come in here? Do I try to leave? Aaron, hello? Jamie? Jamie? Hello? Can you hear me? What is Ooh. happening? What? You're not safe, Aaron. How are... You have to listen to me. Do exactly as I say. Is it pre-recorded? Jamie, what is going on? Where are you? I don't... Just listen. Listen. There's a cupboard in there. You have to get inside right now. What are you talking about? Just hide, Aaron. Why are you telling me this? What's happening? Aaron, now, just trust me, okay? <gasps> mm, wave, good night, sleep tight. What if I hide somewhere else? Okay, fine, I'll hide. DJ, uh, the devil has come inside all of us. Devil's inside you, inside me. I came everywhere. 
That could have been pre-recorded. <laughs> or like altered. This could be bad. Hi Adam, welcome. I should have ran. That's okay. We're going for all kill. I grab baby crook. Welcome on in. Charlie? Jamie? Hello? Charlie's hand where is really bad, Barda. Hopefully somewhere safe. I'll kill. Where the hell we are. Check this out. What is going on? Are, are we locked in here? Looks like it, yeah. You think? Wait. Shh. What? Shh. You hear that? Is that them? Where's it coming from? Somebody's in the restaurant. No one dead yet, unfortunately. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart. The devil works fast to make this so fast. You keep people interested. What the fuck is this? Mark, what are you doing? Just stay back from it. There are only mannequins. Relax. So, it's a bunch of mannequins dressed like us. Weird? Yes. Cause to lose shit? No. I do think we could have had a death or two, but they wouldn't have been as fun. Don't turn. Jump scare. Do it. Do it. Hmm. Some no, I don't like looking no, so closely at these. Jesus, it looks just like him. Does it? No way somebody just threw these together in the last couple of hours. It really doesn't look that much like Charlie. Okay, this is fucked up. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Did I have to look at all of them? You hear that? Footsteps. And they're getting closer. Hide behind the door. Watch out. The wrong side. Wait, I'm gonna fail it. I'm gonna fail it. Oh. Jamie. Yeah. You guys suck at being stealthy. Why would you jump in here then? Oh my god. When that wall shut, I. I'm just glad you're okay. Demet killed his groundskeeper. What? Right in front of us. Demet? No. It's a setup. He was wearing a mask, and I know how that sounds, but I'm not joking, and now he's after Aaron, so we need to move. Wait, hang on. Where's Charlie? I don't know. We got separated. That is true. How'd she get out of the freezer? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side Are you of the fucking lake, kidding me? Jesus, Dead. shut Bodies. it up! Dead. 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 <gasps> this... <laughs> Who's the eyeball? It's fake. A prop, or from an animal or something. It has to be. No, 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 no way. 
Any of you lose an eyeball? Ooh, it's like a root. Oh, oh, it's real. It's fucking real. What I did you think? You this was all too much. Let's get out of here. Danielle, we'll get that right back to you. Can I put it in the oh, mail? It's locked. What's going on? The door I came through is locked too. Two men. You wanna play around? Get out here. Right now. Let's fucking play. Wow. Chill. Jenna. We are so gonna make Charlie die. Oh. This could be the time for our first death. Oh, his poor little hand. No, you don't. If you like Charlie, you have to readjust your priorities. I wonder if that hand's going to be a problem. Can I jump that? Hello, Jamie. I'm okay. I can see that. I mean, it, he does like sort of play games with them. I still have to see the new saw. Uh oh. That was weird. There's a trap. Stick the key in. The number of bones he had in that hand multiplied by 10. There were already a lot of bones. Is this a real photo? Chicago killer, victim one, cause of death, abdominal injuries. Victim's ear was removed by severely sharp object. That's the killer that we've like been seeing in the flashbacks. The person on the ground? Yeah, I went to a photo shoot. Countdown number two. I'm assuming you've read my report on the first one. Similar MO, unidentified male with multiple stab wounds. Looking at the lower favorite kind of male. wounds are consistent with those of the first victim. The shape of the entry wound suggests it's a strong probability that this is the same murder weapon. Looks like we've got a souvenir hunter here. This time the left ear has been severed. Clean incision. Probably a scalpel or razor blade. Very tidy. Nice job, actually. Very little bleeding. Great job. The deceased had probably been dead for 30 to 40 minutes when this was done. This differs from the earlier MO. If you remember, that John Doe was still alive when the teeth were removed. That would have created a lot of noise and mess. This guy is learning. Well, we do stand learning. A real life killer in this game. Yeah, H H H Holmes. Logbook. Most of the crew arrived at the island, moved all the equipment up to the hotel, met with the proprietor, on-site assessment has begun, excavation has begun. Um work on the first and second floors going as expected, but some equipment gone missing. James Kelly has left a project citing an emergency. It didn't contact me directly. Sounds like he died. Bobby's left me high and dry here. Second loyal guy to leave me. Our renovation has begun. 
These people are dropping like flies. Project efficiency is good. If this continues, we'll meet the agreed date. Blank was reconstructed. All moving walls completed. Signal receivers installed. More reports of missing equipment. Project completed at agreed date. Proprietors requesting additional work. Only a small skeleton. Only a small skeleton crew are still on the island, so we will conduct initial cost assessments. Oh. Ravioli, ravioli, <gasps> give me no way. Only. It is the one and only Gma, aka I just love puzzles in the flesh in our chat. <gasps> Hell yeah. What is going on out here, Gma? Gma, we already love you, you know? I just love puzzles. Thank you for the two months and five gifted subs. Um, can we get a, a shout out for Gma if we got a mod around too? The one and only. I just love puzzles. Thank you for all the love and support. If you've been gifted a sub, please send some love to I just love puzzles. An absolute sweetheart. The best puzzle streamer. The Biggest sweetheart on all of Twitch. Go follow. Gma, how you doing? So much love to you. Great to see you. What? Not those kinds of puzzles. Actual jigsaw puzzles. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, you're very sweet. Well, come on in. And thank you for two months. So lovely to have you. Gma. Um, a bit of a, a warning. This game's a little scary, but not too not too bad, I think. Chima is a gem. The best vibes. One of these lovers are going to do something really bad, right? What's that symbolize? You fell down the trap tonight. <laughs> well, if I get out, I'll send someone back for you. He's good enough. The question is, did he have any bits and bobs? See, one of these has to be bad, right? I'm just pulling the levers all willy-nilly. I'm not that much of a hockey fan, okay? Okay. Are we going to run into a baddie? Oh! What words of wisdom and kindness. Gmaw says, you all feel like a heavy weighted quilt at grandma's house in the middle of winter. Wait, that's the cutest thing I've ever heard. Gmaw, the sweetest. Thank you for all the kindness today. We love having you. That was very strange. Anything special? All right, pull it. That has fire on it though. You know what? It's lit. <laughs> Screaming's fine, right? Wait, let me check the this thing. Aw oh, man. Wait. This door is open now. 
My little action figure. Who put that on fire? Was that the screaming? I know better than to go in there. Oh, they're going to make me to get a tool, aren't they? Okay, if I end up here with it like starting on well, gorgeous. starting on fire, do I want to die like that? Yeah, Christ I think it's going to be fine. This is your favorite horror game series? I think mine too, actually. This is going to be the best cigarette of your life. Smoking will kill you. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm in a hurry to die, Leaky. Well, damn. I have to wait to kill Charlie. Charlie. Do wait. Do they have to watch Charlie die? What's he doing? Just having a quick zig. <laughs> having a cigarette in like a locked space. Terrible idea. Airtight space, so dumb. Stretch? Doesn't seem that far. Let him die here, right? This is an all kill run. I have to like start killing, right? I shouldn't like wait hey. for other opportunities. Hey, hello. I'm here. Hello. Oh, hey. Good day. Been through this once or twice. What are you doing? Don't. Please. Don't. Don't. Please. Don't. Please. Oh shit. Nope, nope. He's gonna die. I gotta let him die. I'm gonna have an option, I feel like. It's too real. Force door? That's so dumb. That is the dumbest thing. Do you know how thick this door is? Yeah, that's what I mean. It's too real. It fulfills the prophecy. Oh, damn. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Oh my god! I thought I was switching to the good option. Oh my god! Charlie, no! I thought I was switching to the good option. This is a lesson. 
This is a lesson. You're supposed to stick with whichever option you pick first. Stick to your guns. Such an unpleasant way to go. Okay, that's just cheeky, to right? How the group will fare without their leader. Terribly. It can be difficult working with someone you've been involved with. I don't know, Adam, but, but I, I assume think Mark yes. And Kate may be finding a way and learning some new things about each other. Wait, was it my left hand, about though? Mr. Dumet's lovely animatronics. Hmm. I think they're rather clever. Some of them look very realistic. I wonder where he sources the parts. <laughs> it would only be fair at this stage to offer up a little hint to even the odds. What do you think? Eh, why not? Just for, like, shits and giggles. Let's take some inspiration from the works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Apparently, our friend Herman Mudgett was so enamored with Sherlock Holmes that he borrowed his surname. Oh, I love it. Mm. This is your favorite series and you haven't seen yeah. this one? <clears throat> you have to. He has to. a brain of the first order. I like it a lot. He sits motionless like a spider in the center of its web. But that web has a thousand radiations and he knows well every quiver of each of them. Ugh. I hope that helps. Didn't at all, but I like the way you talk. You'd better get back to things. Best of luck. Thank you. I can't believe Charlie died like that. They watched their friend die in there like that. <laughs> okay, after this cutscene, we're gonna pause it. Get that I, smug face out of here. <laughs> I could save them. Kubi. X's. Oh, is he a DJ? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, you hear that? Yeah. From down there. Burn, baby, burn, no burn, burn, burn. Damn it. It's another trap. It's the only way out of here. So we're going to find out. Disco Inferno. Burn, baby, burn. Howling dog. They were never like that. All right, everyone. While we may be pausing this one for the day, we will be picking this one up right where we left off tomorrow. I think tomorrow's Wednesday horror stream will primarily be our maybe final adventure in The Devil in Me. Very excited. All star, same to you. I got some choice words for you all after all this. Let me find where we're going, though. Good murdering. Thank you. Uh, while I may have only murdered one person, I believe I am well poised to murder literally everyone. All right. Night, night. Ghouly, thank you for hanging. Indeed. Yeah, do not take that and then rearrange the words or anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what if we did, though? It's just like the best place to be. Okay, but what if we did it, though? Simply do it. Why not? Can you read my mind? Um, all right, everyone. Thank you for an amazing stream today. Whether you lurked, you chatted, you supported in any which way. Thank you. 
Had a couple of new pals come over. Lovely to meet you. I'm here every day. Please do follow. It's free, and you'll get updates about the stream. Um, but everyone, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Um, Neville, Bit, thank you for modding today. Everyone, in the meantime, before the stream tomorrow, make sure to join the Discord for watch parties, selfies, pet pictures, updates about the stream. Check out the socials. We post things on those regularly. I shaved like yesterday. Jesus. And uh, don't forget to use code Loganolio with all your new Fortnite purchases for Fortnite Mares. Wait, can I show you a new emote? I don't know if I'd be able to find it. Nah, there's this Michael Myers. <gasps> I need to show you an email really quick. The keyboard. It's the coolest thing I've seen. Okay, th this one's pretty cute too, but this next one's a more important one. Copyrighted my ass! Look at this. It's so cool. Anyways, don't forget to use code Loganolio. All right, uh, everyone have a great day tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow night for us picking up devil inside of us, inside of me, inside of you, devil inside of you. Um, but I'll see you soon. It's the coolest thing I've seen right after that presentation on weapon degradation. Grab the howdy olio. It's the raviolios message. So yes, when we go over to I just love puzzles. Who, while well, they were just here. It's just the best place to be. We have a blast over there. Grab the howdy olio. We'll share some love with Gma. Gma is so sweet. Honestly, I feel like I could go there every day. It's a very cute puzzle Gma's working on right now. Where that dog at? You don't see that dog? Say hello. Say good night. Say good night, Luna. All right. I love you. All right. Good night, everyone. Stay tight. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye -bye. <sighs> Thank you, boob. Okay, little well, shit. Love you, Leaky. Good night, Boobert. Good night, King Queer. Bye, Burry. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Chris. Goodbye, Steven. Bye. Bye.